presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. Thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and a great week. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it your goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you'll learn you have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 63, NASDAQ down 84, S&P's off five and a half. Gold, gold contract up $3.90 trading at 1933 an ounce. We have silver up 47 cents. $23.02 .02 an ounce, light sweet crude, up 34 cents, $69.50 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, up four ticks, trading 113.07. The 30-year up five at 128.02 in King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading down 211 ticks, 102.692. The Euro is 109. The yen's 143, and the British pound is at 127 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, I'm going to get into the future first so you can see where we are intraday here. So, intraday, we've had a range out here, and the, the, the ranges are getting much smaller, folks. The volatility is going down, you get summer trade, and all of the above. And so the range today has been from 4403 to 4372. Now that type of range we've had like five minutes, you know, three or four weeks ago. But you can expect this, this is gonna calm down. It has calmed down, not that it. So what we have, however, though, is this. You can see that what has happened is that on the downtrend, um, 38,000 contracts were done at 4372. As we came back into that, we hit the 4373 and we only did 19,000. So 19 versus that 38 is saying there's no more sellers down there, okay? So now you're dealing with the top end of this. And so the top end of this is, this is the last uh, 30 minutes we've been building cars now. You had that big bar, the big bar that we actually had, it went from, uh, what was that, 70, yeah, it went, that was nine S&P points. And I expect what's gonna happen here is that you're gonna get another big bar and you're gonna challenge where the downdraft came, the first one this morning, which was, the, the, well, it's actually the second one, but it was a big bar too. We went from 89 to 76. And so that bar there actually had 46,000 contracts. So you're gonna need, you need a lot of contract volume, but I suspect we're gonna go after that bar. Now that's in the S&P. Now the NASDAQ's not set up like that. The NASDAQ is a different animal. So we have with the NASDAQ is that the reason it's a different animal is the NASDAQ did not test its bottom. You know, I always like to see the test at the bottom. You can see that's hanging out there like a sore thumb, man. There's, there's 50, there's 16,000 contracts at the low. When we just did have that sign of strength, we had it with 11,000. So that's not bad, but that 11,000 actually was going into 22. So bottom line, you get divergence out here in a monster way too. Then if we go to the Qs, what you're gonna see here is that we're gonna have a small ABC down actually on the daily. Because what you have here is that you're breaking the load that was established last Wednesday, last Thursday rather, and we had 47 million shares there and we're at 37 now. So I suspect we're gonna, you know, do 10. 
and it's only a small ABC, that's for sure. But the bottom line, you know, there's divergence there. Gold. Let's go to the gold contract. We take a look at the gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? We had a spread out here in the gold contract today of 1931 to 1943. You're laying out at 1933, and we got 141,000 contracts. That's really just a sideways day. Uh, let's pull this up. What has happened with gold, folks, is that this is the gold equities as well as the contract. It's going into the 10th and the, what is that, the 12th? Um, and that's where we had strength. Uh, when I'm talking about going back to March, okay? Um, it's coming into those areas with tremendously lighter volume. So if we go, if we look, look at the GDX, you're going to see what I'm talking about here. Uh, all the equities, actually, and this is what's pretty amazing, actually, is that they've come into these areas and they've rejected lower price. So now the question is, can they get a sign of strength coming off here? You know, right, if we look at the GDX, it came into 63 million shares and it did 18. Okay, that's, you get that, then you just need a sign of strength. Now, what does happen in the gold market, I've seen this many times, particularly, we saw it a long time ago, that, you know, you could get the rejection of lower price, but then all of a sudden you would just keep going sideways and sideways, and it took a long time to get a sign of strength. So we'll see how that shakes out. But I'm bringing that up because that hasn't happened recently, but, you know, when you go back 10, 15 years, it used to happen a lot. We're going to the note and bond market. No, the note and bond, we're up, the 10 year note is up before ticks right now. You got 101 uh, million contracts traded. This is building cause for higher price. We go to the TLT. You know, we take a look at the TLT out here. TLT right now, it reached a high on Friday. It's really taken out this consolidation. We're at 103, 290, and anything over 103, 663. Six, That's the number. So we're into that a little. That's when you're really going to start getting traction, you know. So bottom line, I do expect that we're going to get more traction. And if we go over to the dollar, we take a look at the dollar. And this is where this is going to get interesting coming into the close. Because the dollar, bottom line, oh, I see. It's just going up a few ticks as I'm saying that. When we started the program, it was down 206. Now you're dealing with, a, you know, basically 186. But the dollar looks to me that... What you're going to see here is that the dollar is not going to be able to hold price. That's how it looks. You know, we, it, it was anemic bounce. And if we just take a look at where we are thus far, it, it did a 0 0.382 bounce on Friday and didn't hold price. And then if we take a look at the aspect of where it was from the low to the high back to the low, that did over a 0.618 retracement on the way down. So that was saying that the dollar is weak right now, and you know it looks like it's gonna have a hard time holding price. If the dollar has a hard time holding price, the dollar backs up, you're gonna see the market go higher, you're gonna see gold go higher, you're gonna see silver go higher. Dow Industrials, Dow Industrials up 61, you get the NASDAQ up 78, you get the S&Ps up 450. Folks, today what we did, we start July 4th is here, man. The Tiger Dollar sale is on. You can save up to 40% on Tiger Dollars. Check it out. Go to the front page of TFNN. Stay right there. We got our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, coming up next. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex report. Teddy Kegstad breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating Investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 66. Nasdaq's down 84. S&Ps are up 5. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we go each and every Monday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Steve's newsletter, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. Go into newsletters, you'll see Mastering Probability on the right-hand side. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $695, which is a savings of $199, or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593, or 23%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, folks. So you can check it out. You're going you're gonna to get, Steve has a huge amount of information on his page, which would be your page when you subscribe. You can learn how Steve looks at the market each and every day. If you like it, great. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, 29th day, you cancel it, no questions asked, you get your money back. Steve Rhodes, welcome home. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, I, it was a great journey. A I bet it journey. was. Yeah, uh, you know, we did pretty amazing things. We visited, we were in Egypt, uh, Greece, in Greece, we were in Athens and Santorini. In yeah. Italy, we were all over the place. We were in the Amalfi Coast. Yep. We were in Florence. We were in Venice. We were in Lake Como. We were in Milan. Sweet. So it was pretty packed. But, uh, you know, just a couple, just kind of the highlight reel uh, for you. The very first, so it took about uh, 30 hours to get from here in Palm Beach to uh, to where we were going in Cairo. Okay. And we, we landed about two or three in the morning. The very first site that we saw, and it was very busy. Where it's two or three in the morning. We're like, what's everybody doing out? Yes. But that's just simply the way it is. The very first site that we came across was the Citadel of, of uh, Saladin, which goes back uh, uh, to the 13th to 19th century. The, for 700 years, the rulers of Egypt uh, were in this, uh, you know, this fortress, so to speak. But really cool, wow. you know. To, you know, this goes back to 1176. All of a sudden, you realize, you know, you went from Palm Beach, Florida, you know, <laughs> really, you're in Cairo, Egypt. <laughs> That's you know? crazy, right? I mean, you're really oh, look at that picture again. Here, put that picture up. I, I, oh my it's, God. It's, yeah, gigantic wow. fortress. Just a gigantic uh, fortress out there. So that's the first thing that we saw. Then we okay. get to the hotel room. We try to get a little bit of sleep. Six hours later, we're back on the road. And uh, the very first thing that we went to was the oldest mosque in Egypt. So I wanted to do as much as we could the oldest yep. um, types of things. You I know, can try see to that. get back 
to the beginning as much as we could. So sure. we said we said a nice prayer in this mosque. Uh, from here, we then went to visit a church called Abu Surga, and it's the cave where supposedly uh, Jesus and Mary sought refuge for three months. So it's in really good condition. Uh, the lower left is actually a part of the original floor. It's I mean, it's the floor just with glass over it. Uh, so that you can really see what you know, what that suppose, what that wh where Jesus and Mary actually walked yes. on. So that was kind of cool. It's actually one of the oldest churches in in Egypt. Wow. And then we visited the site where uh, supposedly Baby Moses was plucked from the Nile. Now, okay, this red arrow, Tom, yeah, is really where this synagogue is located. And and what they're telling us is the that the Nile River has changed substantially over the last five thousand years and actually backed right up to to that spot okay so it's pretty cool within like the first six hours we're seeing all of this stuff man your head you know, must have been twisting that's cool man wow yeah and it, it just really makes you think you know you just stop for a moment so we said prayers everywhere yeah um and then the very next day we, we did some other things during that day but then the very next day we were off to the uh pyramids now i haven't done any history any background checking on egypt and what i was surprised there's over 100 pyramids Throughout right. all of Egypt, I just thought there were just a handful. Yes, you know, um, uh, you know, which are basically the burial grounds for pharaohs or, or or some of the kings out here. This pyramid, which is called I might pronounce it incorrectly, Dozier, yeah. was built during the third dynasty. This is the oldest complete stone building complex ever built in history. So that was kind of cool to go back to that. So here, yeah, let me went, let me get this yeah. straight because that one that you're just looking at, right? Where yeah. where right now and. 2023, but that yeah. said that was before, before Christ of 2630. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right. exactly. Wow. You just start adding the numbers, and you're like, man, I know. This, okay. this is this is really history out here. Oh yeah. Then we went to this pyramid. This is called the Red Pyramid. The only reason it's called the Red Pyramid, or a reason why it's called the Red Pyramid, is depending on the sun, the way that it hits it, it has this little red reflection because of the stones that were actually used there, the limestone that was used there. This was built between 2575 and 2551, before what they used there, before the Common Era. So you're really going back in uh, time. And you, and if you take a look at this red arrow, it's about it's the, the actual entrance is about three quarters of the way up. It's a good halfway to three quarters of the way up. So we walked up there. It looks like this. You can kind of see a little bit of a path, and then yep. you see, you know, and then it gets kind of a little weird. This is my wife. I've actually got a picture of her coming. So you have to walk up. It's not a simple walk, Tom. <laughs> it is a walk. Up I there. bet. And then you've got to walk all the way down, bent down the entire way to get all the way to the uh, burial ground in, inside the bottom of the. Uh, inside the bottom of the pyramid. Wow. The problem with this pyramid is there were a lot of bats that had got in there. And so <laughs> the, the bat crap, if you will, smelled a lot like iodine. So oh. we we only got like halfway down and we had to turn around. Just you're just worried about Right. You know, it's it's stone, it's cement. You fall, there's you know, it's not gonna be easy no. out there. Yeah. But the, one of the coolest sites, I would say of everything that we saw in Egypt, one of the coolest sites that we saw, Tom, was this. This is when we were coming out of the old area of pyramids, the first ones that we saw. And what I noticed off to the side was that there was a new ruin. This ruin has been discovered over just simply the last about year and a half, maybe two years, but just in the last two weeks. And this is where they think that this is a burial ground. They've pulled out uh, two sarcophagus, sarcophagi, I guess you'd call them. Yeah. Uh, the first mummy that they found was a man that was completely covered in layers of gold. We saw mummies where they're actually, supposedly, you could actually still see some of the hair. Wow. It's, it's insane. I know. You know but but this was so what was cool about this was we were in basically a place where you had the oldest pyramids, the experimental pyramids, you know, that they used. And then they're coming across new findings out there. Right. Who knows what is underneath that uh, desert uh, sand that's out there. <laughs> Finally, we made it to the Great Pyramids and the Sphinx. And that was certainly cool. The rocks there are just gigantic. The boulders that they use to make this thing. It's it's truly an amazing thing. Then from there, and this was kind of cool, we went on to uh, to Athens. And so th this is a, a view from my room. Okay. And uh, you can see the Acropolis up top. You can see the Parthenon up here. But the reason I took this picture, it was about 5 in the morning, 4, 4.35 in the morning, was it was the only way that I could get a picture of the full moon coming up Look over at that. the Acropolis, right? And so, seeing the new with the old is pretty cool. That's crazy. Oh, oh yeah, no doubt. You know, so very cool uh, places out there. It shows uh, from, how small we are, man. Holy cow. Oh, no, no doubt. And how smart people were back then, 5,000 years ago. Yep. And building those things. Right. 
God. Wow. You know, so I, there's a lot of folks that have talked about the idea, the thoughts that, you know, they were made by space aliens or what have you. I can tell you by personally walking down into some of these things, the hieroglyphics, the painting that's on there, the inconsistencies between one place and another. This is all this is man-made. Right. I, I don't I don't right. buy into that theory. But after that, Tom, we were off to Santorini. I think you've been to Santorini. This yes. is a, called a Scaro Rock out here. It's a real landmark. This also is another gigantic hike. But the cool thing about this hike is when you get to it and you go all the way to the back, you've got a church that's just hanging off, in essence, the side of the cliff. Yeah. It is the coolest thing, coolest uh, spot to see. So we didn't get to the market. Sorry about that. But uh, This was more what important. A, what a great trip to go back I'm so happy oh, you did it, this for us. Here's the best thing, Tom. Here's the best thing. I had lunch with uh, one of our traders, MUK of the Tiger's Den in Florence, Italy. I love it, man. How cool is that? The tigers and tigers are growling and prowling all over the place. Absolutely. You have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to speaking to you tomorrow, Steve. Thanks, Tom. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 74. You get the NASDAQ down 96. S&Ps are up uh, 6, 6 and a half. Uh, you just had Putin speaking, folks. Okay, so you... Um, I'm sure most of you know that, you know, he had Prigozhin basically marching on Moscow, got within about 160, 170 miles, um, and then decided that, okay, we're going to turn around and go to Belarus. Um, uh, bottom line is that, uh, let's see what Russia, he, Putin is, uh, let's see what he's saying. He's saying that, uh, that organizers of the attempted mutiny sought to divide Russia 
and its government took all measures needed to neutralize the danger. He said troops of the Wagner mercenary group could join the Russian army or leave for Belarus. Uh, he didn't comment on, uh, comment on the fate of uh, Wagner chief, uh, chief uh, Pogosian. Earlier, Pogosian said in an audio recording that he didn't seek to overthrow the Russian government. You know what's wild about this, particularly after just listening to Steve back in the, you know, when you're going back centuries, um, you know, when you watch all those, uh, well, when you watch Gladiator in, in particular, right, um, it, you know, the Roman armies, they'd never let the Roman armies inside Rome for the exact same reason that, you know, the bottom line is that you get mercenaries going, you get war going, guess what, coming back from that, it's like, okay, those guys aren't going to take any guff, and the bottom line is that we'll see where this whole thing shakes out. Um, but if I remember anything, is that how fast Russia fell the last time. So uh, Putin's, I'm sure, has some problems, and Prigozhin has some problems, too, because I'm sure uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he's on a thin thread right now, meaning to stay away from getting assassinated. And on the other side, you know, you get mercenaries going, hey, uh, you know, we'll see how far this can go. Um, it's, it's wild, man. I mean, and now, now let's bring this to the market. Bringing it to the market is amazing because uh, it's amazing that we only have the futures down five points, okay? So that's telling me the market wants higher price also. You know, when you have something that's major going on like this, you know, and, and what happens, folks, is that in any type of... Um, not war, even a fight, something like this. This is not over in like one deal. He's, you know, he's just not going to bring all his, you know, men into Belarus and then do nothing. Mercenaries just fight. I mean, so they got to they got to find someone to fight. They they're just going to regroup and decide what they want to do. And then if you take it to the 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 first place I went, I was saying to myself, that, you know, and I'm sure that many nations are doing the same thing. Is that if you took any of any of the nations, you know, first world nations, if in fact the, the, the military were marching through states, well, let's just say, picture some. Picture that any of our troops were marching through states, I mean, they get wiped out in about two seconds, right? So this is a whole different ball game. But of course, you know, they've supplied mercenaries for a long period of time and they've used mercenaries for a long period of time to fight their wars. So anyway, it's, it's as wild as it can get. We go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here. And it looks to me like you are going to have a, a low volume uh, market out here today. We take a look at it. You get, let's see, we get Tesla is down 12 bucks. You get Nvidia's off 13. Pfizer's down one and a half. Well, let's go. You get, uh, Let's go into the NDX first. Surprising NDX is up that much, actually. Uh, not down as much. NDX. Okay, so inside the NDX, you got Global Foundries is up 4%. You get Chartered Communications up 3.5%. Qualcomm's up 3.3%. AMAT's up 3.2%. Mercado Libre is down 5 You get Tesla down 4.5%. Illumina is down 4 And you get NVIDIA down 4 there's some divergence there, man. Yeah, big time. Inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness. Point-wise out here, look at Home Depot, huh? Interesting. Home Depot is putting 54 positive points. You get United Health putting 24. You get Caterpillar putting 22. You get Honeywell putting 18. Taken away from it, Microsoft 33, Visa 12. Let's go to Home Depot for a second, because I think what you're going to see here, let me see this, if it's going to be a sign of strength or not. Home Depot, man. This has been a one-way trip. This is crazy. Okay, so yeah, you get a sign of strength. You get a sign of strength that just broke out of the whole consolidation. You're going to need more volume, but this is big, man. What the heck is going on here? Let me see this. Looking at something like this is saying that Home Depot, there's nothing big here. Um, that's 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 taken out the whole consolidation, man. 
Pull this back a bit. Okay, it's taking out the bottom of the consolidation. If this thing's on its way now to, what, 347, and you're at 308. So the way that looks, I'd be saying that the way that looks, that let's go to uh, the note and bond market. See, the, between the real estate market, so the 10-year note right now is 3.7. And that is, you know, 3.8 is the high for the last three months. For the last six months, it's four. For the last year, 2.5 is the low and 4.2 is the high. But when you take a look at how Home Depot has taken off, that's almost saying that they're speculating, the market's speculating, that the rates are going to back down. The rates back down, Home Depot is going to be off to the races again. The sweet spot in the mortgage market, folks, is 5.5%. Right now, we're probably running 7 And it wouldn't take much, you know, to basically, my, my take is that, you know, these rates are going lower and the prices are going higher. So we'll see where it shakes out. But when you look at Home Depot, that, that's, there's plenty of p folks that are expecting the same thing. Because let's go to Lowe's for a second. So Lowe's, pull this back. Put this on a couple year. Okay, this hasn't taken it out yet, but it's actually in pretty good shape. Yeah. And on lows, you're talking about 221. You're 218. Because this is this has been a long consolidation. <clears throat> and two weeks ago, you got you got some big volume in it two weeks ago. But that's it's all has to do right now, well, in that sector for sure, is interest rate structure. You know, because there's plenty of people on the sidelines. The homes, are, the prices of homes really, you know, have, they've gone flat, maybe down 5%, 10%, whatever that is. Uh, but you, you pull back a bit on the interest rate structure, you'll see those things take off. And the XAU, the HUI, my take is that gold and silver, yeah, there's a question about uh, silver bottoming. Yeah, my, my, my take is gold and silver is bottomed. You know, I, I did the gold report today. If you haven't had the gold report, before, folks, you can test drive it over at TFNN. My take is that this correction's over. All of them have come in to the strength of March 10th, March 17th, that area, the rejected lower price. They had lighter volume. And this was continual. This wasn't just a few of them. This was just about every single equity was going into their strength, rejected the price, had lighter volume, all of the above. Now we do need a sign of strength. There's no doubt about that. Dow's up 70, Nasdaq's down 92, S&P's are up five and a half. Stay right there. We'll come right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. So Dow Dow Industrials right now uh, up 62. You get the Nasdaq down 94. S&Ps are off seven. And if we go take, a, I'll just give you a couple ideas as it can. We'll look at the HUI. And take a look at this, and you'll see what I'm talking about as to the gold and silver where my head's at here. So we put the gold bugs index up. This is on the daily first. And what you're going to see, you know, you came into the strength, and <laughs> it's like we came in with 13 million shares versus 117 million. And... You know, what you actually did Friday, you went higher with volume. So that's telling me, you know, guess what? The bottom line is that you have some action here, and particularly because what has happened is this. These are the two days you can see when we came off the bottom, it's right underneath it, too. You have, a, you have strength at 299, at 22906, as well as what it already rejected, which was 229. 86. We go to the XAU. You're going to see the same type of setup. I know we put volume on it first. And the XAU. You're going to see the exact same thing, which is crazy. That was coming into 45 million, and you rejected it with 28. Then you rejected it with 26. And then Friday, we had a little sign of strength. You know, so that's telling me that this baby, you know, doesn't, well, now, now what we do need is a sign of strength, folks. That, that's the bottom line. That's how this is set up. Um, as you come over to TFNN, let's check this out here for a second. So we do this twice a year, folks, okay? And as you come over to TFNN, you're going to see right on the front page, we have our July 4th Tiger Dollar Sale going. And the way this works, so here's the Tiger Dollar Sale. The way this works, this started today. This is going to go until July 7th. And you have three different, you know, you can save up to 40%. So you can buy 600 target Tiger Dollars, you buy 500 Tiger Dollars rather, and you get 600. So you get a bonus of 20%. You can buy 1,000 and you get a 30% bonus, which is 1,300. Or you can buy 1,500 and then you get a bonus of 40%, which is an additional $600 or 2,100 total. And then along with that, folks, okay, you're gonna get a good old Tiger mug, okay? So the bottom line is that we get these great Tiger mugs well, no, no matter which one you buy there, you're going to get one of the Tiger mugs. So check it out. If you have any services at TFNN, if you plan on getting it in the future, it's, it's a way that, you know, we basically discount the product. And we do it twice a year. We do it, you know, bottom at, at, at the beginning of the year, and then we do it July 4th. So you can check it out. And 
If you're getting services right now, it's worth it. If you plan on getting them in the future, it's definitely worth it. If we go back to the E mini for a second, what you're going to see is that now we're down 11. So the bottom line is that it faced resistance right at that area, right at the very top. And in this particular case, let's see, we got you got six minutes into this bar. And this bar already has 23,000, and we're going against, well, it's still going against 38. It's getting late in the day, though. It's still going against 38. And the NQs are probably the one that's going after. This is where the divergence was, NQ. Yeah, you can see this. The NQs are going after that low, low bar. That low bar in the NQs was... Uh, Four seven uh, eight seventy eight, and right now you're at eight ninety two, and the NDX is the, is the leader. There's no doubt about that. So that's that's what we're doing right now. We'll see how this shakes out, but that's exactly what it's done. So, the NDX one hundred one out here. That's 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 the fast take on it. Let's put it that way. Let's go take a look at the IWM, the small caps out here. We take a look at the small caps, and they took out their. base they're coming back this came back with volume on friday 50 million well 50 to 58 million and now today you're up with 24. so that's saying that that can almost test this low again the strength inside the iwm comes in at uh, 176. we got down to the 180 on friday Today, the low is 180.37 also. We go into the XL. Let's go to the oil market and take a look at oil. So oil up here is up today with 256,000 contracts. That's not bad, actually. Looks like oil is going to stay in a consolidation. The, you know what the thing is amazing, too, is that the oil market didn't even move when Pogosian was marching on Moscow. Imagine... Marching on Moscow. <laughs> That'd be like our troops marching on D.C. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's really amazing that he got so close. We go take a look at the XLF, the financials, see where these babies are setting up. XLF. This XLF looks like it, want, it wants to fill this gap. We got... It couldn't hold price today at uh, the 3293. Got a little gap that's laying out here at the 3217. And then we might as well go to the XLE. I should have done that the first when I was doing. The... So the XLE, this has higher price out here today, but you have a, you're dropping down in volume. So I, what, I, what I do expect we're going to see, you're going to see the consolidation inside of the oil market continue, meaning because there's a good size consolidation that's happening on a sideways move. We go take a look at the, the king out here. There's a couple kings, but the bottom line is that between Apple, Apple's hanging at highs. Yeah, I mean, you, I think this is, well, 185. What is the... Yeah, 182. You know, <laughs> there's, these bars are getting smaller and smaller, I can tell you that. But the bottom line, they're still up there. And A N V idiot, NVDA, that's because this was, NVIDIA is the one that fired it up and took off like a rocket ship, folks. That's down 14 now. You got expansion of volume. Now at NVIDIA, that kicker, you know, is going to be like that high, that gap. The gap is huge, man. So maybe... It's going to be going after that gap. And if it's going after that gap, that's, that, that would be saying that the NDX is going to go to lower price because that gap is so much lower, it's pretty intense. The gap, the gap is at uh, 306. And right now you are at... My God, you're at 407. <laughs> yeah, how's that? Stay right there, folks. Come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrial is up 20. Nasdaq's down 131. S&P's off 14. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow, Dow Industrials uh, up 10, Nasdaq's down 133, S&P's off 15. And to go to those NQs, and bottom line is that it not only wanted that high-volume swing low, folks, it blew it away. Look at this thing, man. So that was the high volume. That's where the divergence was in, which is the uh, 14,478. And uh, I mean, no, 14,878. And the bottom line is that you could, uh, no, no. Anyway, it, it blew it away. The, the, the volume, it was 16,000 there. We just did uh, 17,500. So you can see how that baby goes. Uh, Volume-wise out here today, let's just take a look at this. You're going to have, that's going to be short volume, man. Yeah, we're only 483 right now, so you get anemic volume, actually. Yeah, even in the NASDAQ, 3.9 right now in the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ's only going to do about 4.5. NYSE looks like it's only going to do about 800 million. So that's short volume in the way back. There's no doubt about that. We got to take a look at the actual silver contract. Yeah, let's look at the silver contract. So I was talking about my take is that silver and gold has, have actually bottomed this contract today. We did 37,000 contracts. And you can see silver also came in to a sign of strength from the March 17th. Rejected it. You get 37,000 contracts right now. SLV, if we look at the SLV, same setup. SLV came into 25 million con uh, shares with 17. 
Now what we do want to see, though, you, you, once you reject lower price and have lighter volume, now you need a sign of strength. That's, that's how it works, folks, okay? You get the sign of strength, then you are off to the races. And that's telling me I expected number one, and number two, it's saying that somehow, not somehow, but this dollar is not going to be able to hold price. If you take a look at the dollar, dollar right now is trading down a couple hundred ticks, nothing heavy, 140. But that's saying that the dollar basically is going to back down. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, a safe night, folks. Don't forget about the Tiger Dollar Sale. You can check it out and save up to 40% right on the front page of TFNN. Join Tommy tomorrow morning, 9 o'clock. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks. Building wealth.